Well, good morning. Yeah, it is Tuesday morning and we are speaking about change. And today I want to speak to you. God never changes and he's the only one who can produce change. Remember, we we, we ended off with that uh, on Monday morning. Again, the only one that can change your life is God. And so you need to come to ask God to bring the change that needs to change within you. You see, the world is changing at such speed that change is finding difficult to keep up with change. We see that even change is changing. Not so that is how quick things are moving around us these days. And it's crazy to think of the change that is already happening in and around the world. Now, Ecclesiastes verse one, uh, uh, chapter one, verse nine uh, is our go to scripture this week. And listen to what it says. There is nothing new under the sun. Think about that. There is nothing new under the sun. (laughs) Why? Because God is in control of everything around us. We think man is becoming more intelligent. No, no, no. Man is just relying upon that, what God has already given to him. And so we see these things developing around us. Yet in the modern day and age we are living in, everything we are experiencing seems to be new, where even change is struggling to keep up with change. I see that around. I mean, come on, you get your iPhone today, and by tomorrow, once you've purchased it, purchased it, it is outdated. <laughs> and so we see how things are changing around us. The same sin that caused man to be separated or, or, or sin that separated man from God's presence still remains the same today in a fallen world that we are living in. Sin hasn't changed. <laughs> it's just getting worse as we see uh, man changing and as we see the world around us changing man is moving further and further away from god instead of drawing to god now the same sin that caused man to be separated from god is still present today still doing the same nothing is new under the sun it's still the same sin you see man is in need of salvation from sin and man needs to come to god and ask him to save him again again coming to the understanding of what jesus christ did for us some two thousand years ago man is in need of salvation and what we are what we are seeing today man thinks he can save himself man thinks he can redeem himself man thinks by doing good works well that is good enough by living a good life by giving to the poor by feeding the hungry that is what he does and so he thinks that's good looking after those in need well you know if i look after those in need well i'll do my good deed for today and you know one day i'll be rewarded for it now (laughs) unless you come to jesus christ as lord and savior of your life your good works are as filthy rags in the sight of god god doesn't look at your good works he looks at what have you done with his son christ jesus now now listen to to what uh the writer is writing here in ecclesiastes he says this what has been will be again what has been done will be done again there is nothing new under the sun. What is he speaking about? The sin, the sin of man. That is what he's fallen into. The very thing that he's fallen into, he will continue to fall into. That is the separation from God, being separated from the presence of God. What separates us from the presence of God is sin. Now again, turning our back on God. This is exactly what happened in the garden. Sin separated man from the presence of God. And still today, we find that happening. The fruit, sin, might look different to the fruit that Eve took from the serpent. But the effect of the fruit remains the same. The effect being separated from God. How how do I find my way back to God? Hmm. Now... Finding my way back to God, I have to acknowledge what Jesus did upon the cross of Calvary. Yeah, who became my sin, took my sin upon him. And as a result of that, he died on my behalf. Now, that's the wonderful thing of grace. Grace is not what I have done, but what Jesus Christ did on my behalf. And so for me to get back into the presence of God, I have to come through Christ Jesus, who becomes the door for me once more to re-enter into the presence 
of God. So what am I saying again to you on this Tuesday morning? Don't try and bring the change in your life because that what you try and change will never change. The only one that can change you is this, God, by accepting that what Jesus Christ did for you on the cross of Calvary. So come on, why not invite Holy Spirit into your life to bring about that change that is needed to bring you back into the presence of God. Thank you.